Hello and welcome to the EPS Release 2 demo. We're going to show you uh, an end-to-end -end business process within a Release 2 pharmacy system. For the purposes of today's demonstration, we're going to be using the Pharmacy Manager. There are other systems available. So what we need to do in the first instance is search our local record for a patient for whom we, we wish to set a nomination. We're going to search for a patient on the local record. So we're going to look for a patient called uh, Gene Abbott. So we're just typing uh, the surname into the system to retrieve the local patient record. And we've got uh, the record here, so we're going to click on details for the patient. And this is the basic PMR record uh, in the pharmacy system. And one of the things you'll notice is we've got an NHS number. The NHS number is really important and it speeds up the nomination process for EPS release too. Uh, one way of getting uh, and ensuring you've got the correct NHS number for your patients is to use EPS release 1 today. And that will speed up setting nominations for release two. So click on nominations. And that is the patient that I want. And so I'm going to go and retrieve the electronic record from the spine. I'll send a message to the spine to retrieve the, re the relevant record. And we can see we've got the record for June Abbott, we've got the demographic details. Uh, um, and that, that is the record that we want. And no nomination is currently set. So we can proceed to set a nomination. And we can see there are three options for setting a nomination for a dispensing preference uh, for any patient. It can be a community pharmacy, it can be a dispensing appliance contractor if they are getting any appliances uh, from, the, from that service, or if they're a dispensing patient at a, at a dispensing practice, they can set the dispensary within the dispensing GP. Uh, what we wish to do is set uh, the nomination for this pharmacy, so it's as simple as clicking nominate this pharmacy and update. That will now set the nomination on the spine for this patient. And now we can see on the screen that the nomination has now been set. Uh, this pharmacy is the pharmacy now nominated for this patient. And once I click on finish, that's now updated the nomination for that patient. So the next time a repeat prescription or any electronic prescription is generated for this patient, it will automatically be set to the nominated pharmacy. This is the basic welcome screen within uh, the system. And you'll have noticed the tabs at the top of the uh, window. I've got the e-messages tab, and with EPS release 2, when you walk into the pharmacy the first thing in the morning, you'll find that your prescriptions for the day will already be uh, downloaded and awaiting, uh, awaiting you in the pharmacy. So we can see we're a number of different prescriptions. Uh, the numbers next to the prescriptions, um, 2 of 6, 1 of 12, uh, let you know that that's a repeatable, um, a repeat dispensing prescription. If you want to dispense a prescription, we can click on dispense. We can get any messages um, from the GP that's okay to proceed. This screen shows us the right-hand side information. This is, this is the information that you would ordinarily see on the right-hand side. It's letting you know when the next review is due. It's also letting us know which items are on repeat for that particular patient. If we wanted to, we could print up a dispensing token for this patient uh, uh, to pass on any information to the patient. For the first time now, we can see the uh, actual ele electronic prescription. We can see the patient's name and details, their uh, name and address. We can also see the demographic details, including their NHS number. We can see the two items that are prescribed for that individual patient. And we can see details of the signing uh, prescriber. This is a matched patient. That means at some point in the past, we have either dispensed a release one or release two prescription for this patient. And we've got uh, um, a matched NHS number. We're also able to see on this particular screen uh, an exemption information. That is the patient that we want and we're happy to proceed. On this particular screen, it's really valuable because we can see the current prescription for the patient together with a previous history. This is an opportunity for the pharmacist to identify any changes in dosage or any possible interactions. We can actually repeat from uh, the history. We can select the items that we wish and we can actually pick them uh, to speed up the dispensing process. You'll notice that the dosage instruction is repeated from history, but this always remains editable by the pharmacist. So if we wish to, we can change that and amend that to anything we feel is appropriate. What you'll notice, however, is that the dosage instruction on the electronic prescription always remains uneditable and as the, as the prescriber intended. Once I'm happy with that, I can then proceed to the second item. The second item is now highlighted. Once again, the dosage is presented to the pharmacist and I'm able to edit that if I wish. If I'm happy with that, I can proceed. 
Now the labels will be produced and we can proceed to dispense and assemble the products as we would ordinarily. The key difference is in terms of accuracy checking. If we printed off a dispensing token or had a prescription token to hand, we can check against that. Alternatively, we can check against the screen because that is the legal entity. If we look on the e-messages tab, we can see status of each individual prescription. Once we're happy with the prescription for our patient, it can be bagged and ready for collection or delivery. Once the patient arrives at the pharmacy, we can confirm their identity and we can uh, hand over the medicines to the patient and we can set the prescription as collected by clicking on collect. Now we can do the endorsement on the prescription. We can see the two items on the prescription and we can endorse each individual item. All the possible endorsements for each item are highlighted. We have broken bulk, out-of-pocket expenses, uh, etc. A number of them are greyed out because they're not appropriate for that particular item. Once we're happy with that, we can click on OK. We can confirm the endorsements. We need to confirm the, uh, the prescription exemption details. Uh, and for this particular patient, the exemption was a prescription prepayment certificate. We can highlight whether we've seen the evidence uh, um, or not. And we've seen the evidence and the, the exemption information is correct. Confirm all the details. That prescription is now ready to claim. The pharmacist is now able to claim that prescription uh, whenever it's convenient for them. They can do that as they endorse each uh, prescription item, or they can do it at the end of the week or at the end of the month. To claim for the item, the pharmacist simply needs to highlight the item ready for claiming and click on claim. The item is now being claimed. You've now seen EPS released to end to end. It's as simple as that. There's no need to sort prescription tokens or dispensing tokens um, into separate piles. Uh, all the necessary claim information has been sent to the NHS Reimbursement Agency.